SpaceX now budgeting abortion. The radical governor of New York is reportedly refusing to sign the state's 2019-2020 budget. He is not going to put his imprimatur on it until lawmakers approve new, more liberal, more immoral abortion legislation. I fiercely believe, as I said more than two decades ago, that human rights are women's rights and women's rights are human rights. Hillary Clinton standing with Governor Cuomo on stage at Barnard College as they push the Reproductive Health Act. This would codify Roe v. Wade into New York state law. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Newsbaum. Uh, Barry, uh, by the way, I should point out that you know the report said uh, that it would be enshrined in the uh, in the rights of, of New Yorkers that it would be a law that would supersede any kind of ruling from the United States Supreme Court. We also have the Supremacy Clause of the United States Constitution. We do have to consider that, although there is no federal law on abortion, only a 1973 federal ruling. That said, if New Yorkers care about this situation, if they care about life at all, now is the time for them to speak up and hold this governor accountable. Well, there's another twist on this, Graham, that makes it really disconcerting. Uh, part of this law is suggesting that abortion rights are going to be extended from the present 24 weeks of term of pregnancy up till the day of birth. Unbelievable. Meaning you can go and decide, I don't want this baby anymore right up till the time the baby is born, you could be in labor and instead of deliver the baby, kill the baby. And that's gonna be legal in New York. It's, I guess it's worse than puppy murder because puppy murder is still illegal, but you're gonna be able to abort a livable, a viable child up till the day of delivering the birth of that child. I've never heard of anything like this. And that is the part that will be challengeable uh, on a federal level. And I think the federal government at some point will get involved. They'll have to. Yeah, it's an abomination. And where's Cardinal Dolan? Are you, are you watching Cardinal Dolan? Uh, this man, Governor Cuomo, needs to be excommunicated from the Catholic Church for being tantamount to being an accessory to murder here, in my opinion. There's a headline, Barry, that's uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, akin to this, and that is, can New York and California afford universal health care that they're promising? And the answer is no, of course they can't afford it, unless, of course, they tax everybody into oblivion. Well, they are really wanting single-payer, Graham, which is where the government pays for everybody for everything. Uh, but in, that keeps getting vetoed even in California because the, the cost is absurdly ridiculous. If it were to pass, the only thing the government in those two states would be able to afford would be health care. So what they're doing is they're going halfway with universal health care. And what they really have both campaigned upon, the two governors in New York and the new governor in California, is they're going to cover everybody. And when they say everybody, they mean all the illegals, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of them are going to have free health care right. uh, cradled to grave, apparently, at the expense of the state governments. Why? Because everybody deserves it except for the citizens. So the um, financial obligation of each state will be to treat aliens as special guests and the citizens as secondary in terms of what they're gonna spend their money on. Is it any wonder people aren't breaking into California every second to get the free stuff uh, smorgasbord courtesy of the newest governor well, in California. And it's why the uh, net population of the Empire State is shrinking, and California is too. You, you don't should see it in the numbers because there are so many illegals taking the place of thinking Americans who move to red states. Now, one more thing. Um, I find it fascinating. You have the, uh, the younger Democrats, if you will, not necessarily the freshman class, but a lot of younger Democrats who are trying to outdo themselves being anti-free market, anti-constitutional, and anti-American. You have an Olympic game right now taking place. Read the press. Every single person that thinks they're going to run is announcing almost immediately, Graham, how they're going to tax 
the heck out of anybody that has any money. And they're talking about tax rates of 70 and 80%. The problem is the math won't work and middle America is going to revolt. The people that are in favor of this socialism, which is no more than one step from communism, um, the people that are against it are the people that actually work for a living. Right. The people that love it are the people that want free stuff. And you've got Ocasio-Cortez, literally, Graham, on a weekly basis on national news, making up numbers that are insane. Her last announcement was, if we just take the money that the Pentagon wastes, we can pay for everything we want. The problem is the number she picked is more than the Pentagon budget, not this year, every year right. combined since 1776. And when called on it, she said, well, sometimes my math is a little bit off. So you can make up whatever you want and the press won't condemn you as long as it has to do with sharing the wealth and people paying their quote, fair share unquote, whatever that means. I'm laughing because I'm sad because this woman is a product of the public school system uh, in this country. And you know, the, the laws of economics in the end always trump the laws of politics. We know that to be axiomatic. Barry, thanks.